my phone is dead, but it uh seems like what three in the morning, two thirty in the morning. I you know we usually do this. You know we feel like professional athletes. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure is, it, is that the same guy because I think I know Nenad Kitsman. Okay. And he's a professional basketball player in Serbia. He used to play. Now he plays for a, a Greek team named Panathinaikos. Okay. But I don't know if that's the same dude. I'm pretty sure he's not. Okay. Yeah, probably not. Mm -hmm. So you guys are playing well. What is it that you're doing? What's the most important right. thing for you guys to be doing? No, uh, definitely, I would say rebounding. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing the ball offensively. Really? Okay. Really? Pick your poison. Camera needs to follow these guys all the time. Cut up. That's good, Jim. Y'all seen them golf banners? The 1929? I was getting serious when I did it, though. I was like, oh, D, how did it feel? He was like, what you talking about, man? I said, well, you won them golf championships back in 1929. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you won it your freshman year and then your senior year. <laughs> it was 29 and 33. <laughs> So you like your chance to be busy, huh? Huh? You've been busy practicing cards, huh? Yeah, it's about my heyday right here. That's great. What's your name? Matt. Matt Brooks. These are my uh, closet, so I didn't even know he was a head coach until last night. Hi, Jeremy Hill here with the Roadrunner Sports Network here in the state of Ohio, Cleveland. We're going to go interview some of the boys and see how they feel the night before the big game. Let's go. Possibly the biggest head we've seen um, in UTSA history. How does it feel to be a part of history at UTSA? You know what? Like, it's a really humbling experience. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long it took you to come up with that question, but whatever, that's fine. I'll get you back one day. Um, no, I'm, I think that people with big heads just have more to give, that's all, you know? Now, there's, the stadium holds 20,000, so I've heard. Um, UTSA are going to try and put, put as many as they can in there, but what do you think the crowd's going to be like tomorrow night? I think the ratio <laughs> of Ohio State fans to UTSA fans will probably be about 98 to 2, <laughs> but um, you know what, we'll just see if the boys can shut it out and pull out a win. All right, thank you, Eagle. Hello, hello. Come on in. Okay, we're here with Larry Hoover. The residential rebounder, as some of uh, have noticed. So tell me, you've got a busted lip. How did it happen? Well, you know, I was doing what I do best, you know, rebounding the ball. And, you know, I just caught an elbow, you know. A couple stitches, you know, I'll be all right, though. Do you know who got you with the elbow? Uh, I believe it was... <laughs> I believe it was number two on the opposite team, you know, but it's all cool though. We got the win. I'm glad you didn't say me. It was very nice of you. 
Okay, today you got to see the arena. Um, they're expecting close to 20,000. So how do you feel you're going to go with such a big crowd, a little bit bigger than the Convo? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, probably like 10 times bigger than the Convo, but, you know, it, it's all cool, though. I, I think we perform better on a big stage, you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's killing me right now, man. This is crazy. Right, I'm here with freshman uh, Jordan Sims. Jordan, uh, you've seen the arena today. What do you think? What do you think about it? I mean, it's pretty nice. Biggest arena I played in, but uh, we should be we should be good. Play better in the front of the crowd. So, like I said, we're here with Jordan Sims. You know, freshman phenom right here. So, you know. How do you feel of this being your freshman year and, you know, us being able to make it to, you know, the NCAA tournament? It's a good experience. Uh, I was looking forward to the season. I didn't expect it to be this good, honestly, but I'm glad we're here. All right, cool, cool, cool. You you know, you uh, came there, you know, you contribute, you hit your threes and stuff like that, you know. Uh, so what do you think about tomorrow's game? How do you feel about that? Well, got to contribute like always. Uh Practice shots and practice. You gotta make those in the game. All right. Well, you know, we was here with Jordan Sims. You know, <laughs> fresh, <laughs> fresh with Fina. Hey, hey, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Hey, back to Jeremy. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Thanks, boys. Come in, okay. All right, I'm here with Michael White, uh, center, correct? Um, power forward. Power forward, okay. What What do you aspire to be like in the NBA? Who's your favorite player? Um, Amari Stoudemire. That's one of my favorite players. He's, 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 he's unbelievable. One of the best players in the league, I mean. So, that's why I think. So who do you think is going to take out the uh, NBA this year? Uh, I, I'm going to go with the New York Knicks. I know a lot of people, <laughs> get the care of this guy, he's laughing at me. It's funny, huh? It's funny, is it funny? <laughs> New York Knicks is going to win it all. Just quote me on that. It's going to take time. We might be 34 and 20-something right now, but we're going to get it together. So you heard it with Mike White, Knicks to take the NBA championship. We'll see about that. On a serious uh, note, uh, you got to check out the arena today. Holds roughly 20,000. Kind of a bit bigger than the convo. How do you feel about uh, perhaps warming up and getting some minutes on that in that uh, gym? Um, I, I think it would be an amazing feeling. Not not just because uh, uh, LeBron did once play in that gym. Uh, I, ju I just think it would be an amazing feeling just to warm up and um, go through some drills and, and um, even play some minutes in the gym. I, I think that would be an amazing feeling. But, we uh, found Tyler in the hallway. I'm not sure what he was up to. but uh, I'm trying to turn in my dirty practice stuff. All right, oh. so uh, you're compared to Matt Bonner, not just for your red hair. Now tell us why we had that comparison. Because uh, apparently I shoot the ball really well like Matt Bonner does. Apparently, I think you do shoot the ball really well. Um, now in the game in Dayton the other night, you hit a half-time buzzer beater. Tell me how that feels. Uh, I think you can see by the uh, what I did afterwards how well it felt, it felt great. <laughs> Now, you got to see the Quicken Loans Arena, uh, holds 20,000. It's, it's much bigger than the Convo. <laughs> now, um, what are your thoughts on that, and do you think UTSA will have a bigger crowd? Yes or no? Uh, I think we're going to have a bigger crowd than the last game. Uh, I myself know that I have more family coming out for this one than I did the last one. I think we'll have a good show, and there's a lot of people here to support us, but yet Ohio State will probably outweigh our fans. Now, Mike White was just saying, and he quote him, he thinks the Knicks were going to win the NBA this year. Now, what are your thoughts on that? He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. I, I pick at least six, seven other teams before I pick the Knicks. <laughs> I'm here with Shenton Way, operations manager for the UTSA basketball team. He's the one that makes all this happen. Now, it's been a busy year, Shenton. Uh, how are you feeling about where we've ended up this year? You know, uh, it's, it's, I'm really surprised, <laughs> just due to the fact that we're so young and uh, being really consistent as a team, for that's you know that's being expected of, and uh, you know, I'm really happy we've we've come together and. Uh, okay, and so we're going up from KD Arena to um, Dayton now the big arena, Quicken's Quicken Loans Arena. So how do you how do you think about the arena? It's great, you know, it's a, a pro arena and uh, it's first class, and there'll be a sea of red in there with a little pocket of 
um, blue and orange. So <laughs> looking forward to it and, uh, you know, shocking the world, busting a bunch of brackets. Hey. Um, you're the one that knows everything here. So r right. roughly, how many people are we expecting at the game? Um, I'll say close to 20,000, maybe more. The stadium only holds 21,000, so it can't be more than that. <laughs> Standing room, corporate suites, overpacked, and uh, ushers. Well, you've heard it right there. We're here with Melvin Johnson. Uh, a shoot He's our resident shooter. Unfortunately, can't keep his room clean. Hey, man, I was not, I was not, hold on. I was not hey, expecting this. See, Mike, you played me. You played me. <laughs> like me and Lee for here chilling. Next thing I know, oh, camera's in my face. Hey, hey, room dirty. I was trying to clean up, hey, fool. It's hurting, bro. It's hurting me right now. Hey, hey do the interview, sir. Do All the right. interview. <laughs> All right, so you had 25 points at half time. You finished with a game high 29. Uh, also a career high. How do, you, how do you feel after that game? It seemed like you couldn't miss a shot. Um, I feel great. I mean, I've never played that well before in my life. And um, hopefully I can do it again tomorrow. These lights are really, really bright. I'm here with Khalif B. <laughs> now tell us, Khalif, you've had a bit of exposure on uh, national television doing what seems to be a, a pump-up dance. Can you please tell us and tell the people back home at UTSA how that helps the team warm up? Well, I'm an energy increaser, so I increase the energy. So, you know, I do my little hop thing. The way it, the way I move, you know, everybody gets into it. Everybody starts jumping. Just it, it started like how many games ago? Like the last six games. Since we started winning, basically. Yeah, since we started winning. So you, you know, mean to tell that's me that's the winning hop. So, so you mean to tell me that? So you mean to tell me that you doing that dance makes us win? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. <laughs> Energy increaser. <laughs> I'm. I, I'm not going to lie, I think we have won every single game since you started that dance. So keep it up, Khalif, and we appreciate every single moment of it. Yeah, Alright, we're here with Steve, <laughs> reporting for the Roadrunner Network. Right. Now tell us, you've had a chance to see Quicken Lines Arena, holds about 20,000. What are your thoughts on the size of the crowd and how it's going to make an impact on the game? Um, hopefully our game plan, we take the crowd out the game, and that would be huge since we're playing in Ohio, and we're playing Ohio State. Do you, do, you, do you think the UTSA fan base is going to be able to compete with the uh, Ohio fan base? Oh, of course. Our UTSA fan base is great. We love our crowd. Our crowd loves us, and they're always there to support us. We just caught, we just caught Coach T trying to escape from the elevator. Now, quickly, just want to ask him. Uh, come on, I'm a professional here. Okay. Just your thoughts on the game. Uh, it's going to be a much bigger crowd than the combo, obviously. Uh, do you think it'll play an impact in the game? I don't think it will. I think our guys are ready to go. I think that you guys are, have been focused all year long, all tournament time, and you guys are ready to go beat Ohio State University. Now, on a more important note, uh, the Knicks, do you think they're going to win the NBA? This is coming from Mike White. The Knicks? <laughs> That's what I heard. That, when you get messed up with a guy like Mike White, the Knicks, they, they've, they've gotten worse since the trade. I don't understand how they can win a championship when, the, when they got worse after a good trade. Now, he, he said Amari Stoudemire's game high in the um, Quicken's Loans Arena was 46. Do we think Melvin Johnson might be able to beat that after last night's performance? No. <laughs> there you go. Coach T, thank you. Okay, we're here with Redshirt, uh, DJ Juro Mostolovic. How do you say your last name, DJ? Mostolovic. Mostolovic, all right. Yeah, now Next uh, year, you're going to be on the team. We know we're, we're going to be an uh, experienced team coming into the tournament. Um, please tell us what you're going to bring to the UTSA basketball team and how you're going to contribute next year. Well, I mean, first I want to say Redshirt season really helped me to mature as a player and get better like practicing when like playing with you guys through all this year and especially I mean making NCAA tournament in the first year I had like a joke with Ren I said like I wasn't even a freshman uh, and I was already a champion so that's I mean that's a really great thing like to happen I mean that was the best thing that could happen for me like for this year but on the other side uh, I mean I tried I, I've been working like really hard to hold this season and I'll 
keep like working hard as well during the summer when I go back uh, home and hopefully like next year I'll play I'll play I'll have our team like offense and defense too try to hit some shots and like do what I what I do the best okay we found say pay laying his bed comfortably may I say uh, we just joined him here please tell uh, the folks back home what are you doing on your phone um, I'm playing words with friends, you know, this is what I do when I get bored sometimes. I'm not going to be having my phone at 11. Might as well get a couple games in before, you know, we got to go to sleep. So today you got to have a look at Quicken Loans Arena. Holds roughly 20,000. This is marginally bigger than the combo, I may say. Um, tell us your thoughts about that and how it's going to contribute into the game. I mean, it's going to be pretty good, you know. I Me, mean, I'm from Houston, so I'm used to big crowds, you know, big city. So tomorrow should be a pretty good game. You know, we shouldn't be worried about the crowd and stop looking at the sweat on my forehead, Larry. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I know everybody else is too. Yeah. Live with Larry Wilkins here with Say Pay. Um, I just had one question to ask. Say, there was a rumor going around that there was a poll uh, that was on the internet talking about who has the best hairdo on the um, UTSA basketball team. And it, everybody, it was a unanimous decision. They said it was you. How do you feel about that? I had the best hair. I, I disagree with that. I obviously do not have the best hair on the team. Sir, I just want to know, what type of chemicals do you use in your hair, sir? Uh, pink oil moisturizer. Uh, hey, can we get a close-up on his head? Sir, sir, you sir, you the <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Coach O'D thought he could escape. Please tell people back home what you're doing. Uh, watching film on Ohio State. Getting ready for tomorrow. So there's a pretty thick folder there. Uh, you're anticipating a... An intense game, I'm sure. Now, you're uh, responsible for recruiting two very good-looking and talented players from Australia. Now, I'm sh I know for a fact that you had to do lots of work to get them over here. Um, how do you think about the end result? I'm not sure which two players you're talking about. Uh, maybe you're talking about players I'm recruiting now to come in the future? No, I'm in the two on the team now. Oh, those two. 11 and 12. Oh, those two. Well, you know, they're good guys, and... We did work hard. It was a, a staff effort to uh, get them to come over here and help us build this program, and we're excited that they're here. So if you like what they are doing, this is the man that's responsible. If you're not too happy, this is also the man that's responsible. Thank you, ID. Appreciate you. Yeah. Can you take, can you take uh, just a couple of minutes out of your busy schedule just to enlighten the UTSA fans on what you do? Sure, I could, I could take some time out of my schedule. Schedule. Right. I was responsible okay. for taping my ankles before each game. Does a wonderful job. Cannot appreciate him enough. The amount of time he puts into this team is unbelievable. And, you know, we just want to thank you for that. Um, do you have a message for the UTSA fan and alumni back home? No, nothing back home. I'm just really happy for the guys. They, they really deserve this and the coaching staff. You know, they put in a lot of work this year. And uh, this is all great for me and all to be here. And I appreciate them bringing me. But the best thing is that these guys get to experience this. They really enjoy it. They're a great group of kids. So. Okay, I'm here with senior point guard Devin Gibson. Get the camera out of my face. There's, there actually are a few alumni and a few fans here. Is there a message you want to send to them and the people back home about your playing days at UTSA and how you're appreciative of their time and energy to come to the games, you know what I'm saying? Are you a real reporter? Like these are some nice in-depth questions. This is this is legit. This, this is, is this legit. is go this is going on uh, ESPN. Are you serious? I'm serious as can be. Shut up, Jeremy. But um what a message I want to send back to the Roadrunner fans. Don't be surprised if we shock the world tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be fun. That's all. Now before I finish up, there's one question on my mind, everyone's mind. No, it's not, not one of those questions. It's an important question. Now, you're going to finish up with the most deals in UTSA history. You're going to finish up being one of the leading scorers. When you walk in in uh, two, three years' time, you see your, the banner up there, our team's banner, 2011 champions. Now... What else would you what else would you like to see up there perhaps right next to the banner? I'd like to see them retire Jeremy Hill's jersey. That would be wonderful. <laughs> uh, I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to attempt to do that, but we we're, we're talking about Devin Gibson here and we would like to see his uh his jersey retired. So UTSA get behind that number 21 retire the jersey. Yes sir. That would be tight. I'm not going to lie to walk into the convocation center and see my jersey in between Devin Brown and Gervin. How tight would that be? But 
UTSA, okay. UTSA Nation, that's what we're going for. Thank you, Devin, for your time. Thank you. So we've, we've just met with senior point guard Devin Gibson to your right. Now, we're with, we're with the next prodigy, uh, Ryan Whitehead. Ryan, you're filling pretty big shoes in the coming year. How do you feel about um, being, the, being the leader of the team next year and how do you feel, feel you can contribute to the team? Mm. I'm going to just mimic everything Devin Gibson does. I'll be Devin Gibson number two. What? <laughs> I'm not... I'm not, <laughs> not going to complain with that because Devin's been a great part of the uh, UTSA run into the finals. And talk about the run into the finals. Uh, how do you feel about the whole experience, the NCAA tournament, Dayton, you know, Cleveland, all that sort of stuff? How do you feel? Uh, it's definitely been fun and great experience uh, <laughs> being a freshman and all. So I can't complain. Uh, definitely didn't expect it, but this is what I was hoping to happen, so I'm happy. All right, so we're here with Alex Vyukas from Greece. Now, Alex, this has been a pretty big experience. NCAA, you know, this is your first year as a UTSA roadrunner. Please tell us how the experience has been and how you felt about the whole um, road, to the, road to this game. It's, whoa. it's been a, a long time coming, trust me. Uh, I've had to go through a lot to get to this place, and it's... It's nice to finally uh, get some reward, just and individually and now as a team that we're, you know, we're here and uh, we're very, very excited about it.